I trust that you are well. Welcome to my phone and channel. Your go to destination for insightful and engaging educational content. Here we explore a wide range of topics from science and history to technology and beyond. Prepare to expand your knowledge and spark your curiosity with our carefully crafted videos. Subscribe now and join us on our journey of discovery. In today's session, we are going to look at amino acids. And we are going to begin the brief introduction. Amino acids refers to incorporated antigen antibody reaction. And antibodies are produced by immune system to protect against harmful germs, in this case the antigens. And the basis of immune acids is the ABO blood grouping process or this blood grouping system which is performed to determine an individual blood group and is based on the fact that individuals have antigens on their red blood cells that correspond to the four blood groups that is A, B, O and AB. Ultimately their plasma has antibodies which are directed against blood group antigen in that blood. For instance, blood group A has antigen A and antibody B. Blood group B has antigen B and antibody A. Blood group AB has antigen AB and no antibody. Blood group O has, a, has no antigen and antibody AB. Applications of amino acids Amino acids is uh, important as it is applied in different fields. In one, we have therapeutic drug mon monitoring that is uh, checking the amount of poison it is in. We have drug abuse screening and in this case the drug is used as an, an antigen. We also have a uh, forensic investigation that involves both the living and the dead. We also have in pharmaceutical and agricultural investigations. Types of amino acids have different types. The first one is enzyme linked amino acid called ELISA, in which an enzyme antibody labeled reagent reacts with an antigen of interest. And in this, a color change shows reaction. The next one is radioimmunosis, abbreviated as RIA, in which the antibodies are labeled with a radioactive isotope, which is then measured, e.g. enzyme immunosity, in which enzymes are used, and the reaction is monitored through a color, through a color change or through a emission of light. We also have a competitive or non-competitive reactions. And the limitation of this is that they may not provide explicit identification. That is the end of our session. Thank you for joining us. We hope you gained valuable insights and knowledge from today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content. And remember, learning never stops. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.